Hi, my name is Paul Buffa. I'm the head of product education here at Observable. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can build a simple data app with Observable in two minutes. So here we go, we've got some data from New York State on MTA daily ridership levels that show you how many people ride the subways and buses every day. Let's export this data to a CSV. There we go, I've got it downloaded. I can see in my downloads here. I'm gonna copy and paste this into an Observable notebook. So I've got a new one here. Let's call this MTA ridership and we're going to just copy and paste this data in right there there we go now we can use that to build a data table cell which allows me to manipulate the data and i can take a look at the different distributions we've got dates subways buses let's rename some of these columns a little easier to work with so we'll call it subways we'll call this one buses and this one is for the long island railroad to call it lar and maybe we'll just select those columns that we care about so i'll select here we've got subways date buses lir and maybe I want to start visualizing this data. So I'll call this subways data. And now I will add a chart. So I'll click here, click on create chart. And now we've connected to our subways data. All I got to do is just specify the X and Y fields that I'm interested in. All right, so now we've got a chart of subway ridership levels going back pre and post COVID. Let me add a little margin here so you can read up the, the Y axis a little bit better. All right, and now we could add a little inputs to this so we can have some interaction for our visualization. For that, we're gonna to wanna to eject to code. So I'm gonna actually just take this chart, convert it to JavaScript. All right, so now I've got some JavaScript code to work with, and now I can add an input. So I'm gonna click for inputs, maybe a radio input will work well here. We can change the values to subways, buses, and LIR. And we'll make the default value subways. All right, so we've got a little radio check boxes. And all we gotta do is just swap out this uh, variable with our hard-coded subways here. And there you go. Now we can switch between different views of the data. Um, and we built a little simple data app in two minutes.